Hi there, I hope you are doing well. Today we will be comparing the best available tampers for espresso on the market, ranging from 10 US dollars and up to 200 US dollars. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that we are giving away six tampers for six lucky winners on today's video. So stay tuned for that. To make things clearer, you can definitely get delicious espresso shots by using 20 US dollar tamper. You don't have to buy the most expensive one just to get great results. That should be clear. When it comes to tampers, we can divide them into three categories. Manual tampers, spring-loaded tampers, and electrical tampers. We will compare electrical tampers in a future video, as they are mostly intended to use in coffee shops. That being said, I have here an extremely accurate and high-end digital caliper that is made in Japan. I did try multiple calipers, but this is probably one of the best calipers out there, and I definitely chose to go with the best. We will be using it to check the accuracy of each tamper on today's list. Moving to the second point, most espresso machines uses 58 millimeter porta filters, and the most common quality filter baskets that sit inside these porta filters are VST and IMS baskets. Both of these filter baskets have an inner diameter ranging between 58.60 millimeter to 58.90 millimeter. Accordingly, if you want these perfectly tamped and clean filter basket edges, the more accurate the tamper, the better your results will be. Without further ado, let's start with manual tampers. First of all, you want to avoid normal 58 millimeter tampers as those are outdated and they leave the sides of the filter baskets untamped. You won't be getting consistent results with them. You might be able to get good results if you take your time, but it's definitely worth the upgrade. The Lilith tamper. If I'm not mistaken, it is probably made by IMS, a company based in Italy. It says that it measures 58.55 millimeter on the base, but in reality at 58.53 millimeter, as you can see. It also has fine lines on the sides that are supposedly there to prevent suction of the coffee puck from happening if you remove the tamper too fast after tamping. However, this might rarely happen with even wide range tamper, but in the case of this tamper, I doubt it will ever happen. Additionally, it has relatively good thickness that allows you to feel the edges of the basket while tamping to ensure that you are tamping evenly. All in all, it has simple build quality, accurate to use and reasonably priced for around 20 to 40 US dollar for the red wooden handle version. We did customize this wooden handle by the way, but Lilith offers wooden stock versions for a slightly higher price tag. The Pisado Tamper. You have so many options to go with, ranging from bronze, gold, stainless steel to even wooden options. It has 58.5 millimeter engraved on the base, but it measures at 58.51 millimeter to be specific. The tamper is extremely well machined and the tamping base edges feel almost too sharp. It has a nice thickness to feel those edges with your fingertips and it feels quite sturdy in hand with its weight and build quality. Considering the price tag, this tamper did meet my expectation in regards to its build quality, accuracy and the overall feel. I do wish, however, to see 58.60 millimeter version. That one would be perfect. Pisado recently offered a limited edition convex base tamper called the Full Moon Wave Convex Tamper. It's a lengthy name, I know. The idea of convex base tamper is that you might improve the extraction by creating a small well shape in the center of the coffee puck after tamping, which in return will cover any accidental unevenness in the tamping surface. I like the idea and I do need more time to test it. Personally, I would still prefer flat design as it will kind of give you a standard results and less variables to worry about during your espresso routine. The Palman Tamper. Palman tampers were probably the very first company to come up with the idea of pushing the diameter width from 58.0 millimeter to 58.58 millimeter. They proved that this increase in accuracy will ensure fully tamped and clean edges in the filter basket, which in return will result in more consistent espresso extraction. It has a rubber cone to rest your fingers on and this is one of the major reasons why so many people like this tamper. Now this might seem strange to understand but imagine with me the difference between applying pressure on a stone 
or in a basketball. With a basketball, you'll feel that there's a minimum feedback and compression. Similar to that, the feedback that you'll get from this rubber cone is really good and enjoyable to use. It is not a huge thing, but once you get used to it, you'll start to appreciate that it is one of the main reasons why you're enjoying your daily routine. Above the rubber cone sits a metal spacer. This spacer is designed to offer the option of adjusting the tamper's length to your desired preference or depending on the size of your hands. They offer so many options and customizations up to the point of gold electroplated spacers or wooden spacers. The handle is ergonomically shaped for easier gripping and again, they have endless options to choose from from wooden handles up to metal handles. As for the base, it has the perfect thickness for your fingers to feel the edges of the basket. You will be easily able to tell if it's flat and leveled. Palm and Tamper is by far the most expensive tamper or at least the most expensive and yet purchased one. There are a few reasons behind this. One of which, the extreme strict quality control. Palm and Tampers do guarantee that each tamper is inspected and measured to their desired standards. This means that you can rest assured your tamper will be flawless without any imperfections in regards to scratches, blemishes, or that variable size difference of 0.01 millimeter. It is worth noting that depending on your country, the palm and tamper prices fluctuate a lot. For instance, I got this one for 155 US dollars in the UK from Square Mile Coffee Roasters, and it can go up to $300 in different countries. Spring-loaded tampers. Generally speaking, it is always thought and taught that you should aim for 15 kg of pressure while tamping. Nonetheless, based on our experiment and the feedback that we got from all our friends, we found that 8 to 12 kg is more than enough for consistent results. A spring tamper is basically implementing a spring inside the tamper itself. The spring will start to compress once it reaches a certain amount of pressure. For example, Normcore was one of the very first companies to provide an affordable and practical spring-loaded tamper. They definitely don't shy away from improvements and working on newer versions. As you can see, I have here the upgraded version 4 of their spring tamper and I just received the titanium coated base two days ago prior to shooting this video. You can see here that I have the third production plate. It is kind of cool. As for the base, it measures at 58.50 millimeter and they are one of the few companies to offer a wide range of options for different size porta filters. The new coated base prevents the coffee from sticking to the base or at least to minimize it. The tamper comes with three different springs in the box for people who wish to test around and try different pressures. You can easily test the tamping pressure by using a normal body weighing scale. I copy palm tamper. It shares the same affordable price tag with Normcore and it has 58.53 mm ripple base with a 15 kg built-in spring. It is another great option to consider as a practical, reliable and affordable precise spring tamp. However, we do wish to see an additional 10 kg spring included in the box in the future. Speaking about the spring, the Happy Tamper has an inner adjustable spring. This means that you are able to set your desired tamping pressure by using an Allen key and adjusting the screw on the top. You will be able to set the pressure anywhere between 8 and up to 25 kilograms. It has a minimalistic design, very simple to use, and they give you the option to customize the tamping base on their website or to choose one of the available options. I would definitely recommend on customizing your own base. We got 58.60 mm with a 10 mm thickness. Alternatively, you can choose their Bigfoot base, which is at 58.55 mm and 8 mm thickness. The reason why I would recommend a thicker base, for instance, if you use 17 gram of coffee in 18 gram filter basket, at the peak compression point, there will be too much empty space in the basket and you won't be able to apply pressure once you reach the final compression at the tamper. All in all, it is a beautiful tamper and we have really enjoyed using it. It is not cheap, however, it is very well machined and the entire mechanism is smooth and reliable. The Bravo Tamper. Those tampers are made in low quantities. The tamper has a distinctive look and shape. 
while the tamper has an inner spring with kind of similar mechanism to the previously mentioned tampers it is the only tamper that allows you to feel a flat resistance against the palm of your hand each part is machined to the best tolerance and all in all it feels like it is built to last as for the base it comes as either 58.55 millimeter or can be customized like the one we have which is 58.59 millimeter regarding the inner spring there are multiple options but we personally prefer the 8 kilograms i think they are sold with the 12 kilogram spring but you are able to ask for different options and customizations the only two issues with this tamper are the mirror finish of the tamping base which if you remove it instantly after tamping, you will get ground coffee stuck on it. However, with a minor twist, you will be able to have it clean. Second issue is the price. As it is made in Brazil in low quantities and to the highest standards, it is set at $200. I know it is not a cheap tamper, but you can say you are paying for the quality here and you have to consider that it is not a mass production tamper. Last but not least, the final tamper on today's video and one of our top preferred tampers, the force tamper. The force tamper is the most sophisticated one. All of its parts are machined with extreme precision as any kind of imperfection will result in the tamper not working properly. To explain the mechanism in a simple way, it has three inner springs. When you start pressing, it starts to build up the pressure and once you reach around seven kilograms of pressure, the inner spring will be released and it will create an impact on the coffee puck. This impact is estimated to equal 9 to 8 kilograms of pressure. You will be able to adjust the impact force by tightening the spring where zero tightness will give you 9 kilograms and if you push it to fully compressed spring it will be equal to 18 kilograms. As the impact is created within a fraction of a second, the only way to measure it is by using super fast measuring scale. The four Stamper team had informed us that they had collaborated with a national lab in China so they can use their $50,000 scale to measure the impact pressure in that fraction of a second of time frame. That is really cool to think about. It is super easy to apply 7 kilograms of pressure. You can almost do that with only two fingers. Once the second spring is released, there will be almost no pressure over the coffee puck and you won't be able to create any additional pressure. That's it. One click and you are done. It will give you a very clean tamped basket due to the fast impact. It wipes all the edges and leaves everything clean. One of the main issues with this force tamper is that you will end up with ground coffee stuck under the leveling collar. However, it only takes around two to three seconds to clean that. You have the choice to customize the knob between wooden, black aluminum, or chrome plated. Personally, I love this wooden and metal knob, which was recently released. I want to thank Normcore, Pisado and the Force Tamper for offering six lucky friends the chance. The winners will be picked after five days from this video going live. Make sure to check the link down in the description below and read everything about it. The giveaway is simple and straightforward. All you have to do is to show them some love on their Instagram page. If you wish for additional entries, make sure to check us also. Hopefully more giveaways are coming in future videos. I will leave links to everything in the description section. So make sure to check them as we have discounts codes too. Good luck everyone. Take care and see you soon.